first of all, I'd like to say what an honor it is to be here and that uh, sometimes great things come out of small meetings. Uh, nine months ago or so, uh, myself and the Dell EMC team had an opportunity uh, to come to McGill and to fall under the spell of Alan Evans and Ann McKinney when they laid out their vision and the work that uh, McGill has done, uh, not only in Canada, but in bringing together this fabulous incorporation of 163 sites worldwide. It didn't take us very long to figure out that we really needed to be part of this. And uh, we started a journey uh, amongst uh, uh, Dell and McGill uh, with Ann and, uh, and Alan and Samir and Jean-Luc and, uh, and many other members of the, uh, of the, of the group. We uh, roughed out kind of a straw man plan of what we thought needed to be done. And it was quickly evident that um, the Dell had a lot of the back-end capabilities from an engineering standpoint, from a worldwide reach, from an interoperability capability to be able to bring engineering to bear. And McGill and your great expanded multinational network had the uh, intellectual capability, the science, the wherewithal to drive us much more rapidly uh, using open science to a, uh, to a solution that really could begin to make a difference. Uh, Michael Dell is really dedicated to healthcare generally and very specifically dedicated to, uh, to neuroscience. And we, we really felt immediately that uh, this was a marriage made in heaven. We uh, rapidly decided to have a straw man plan and then to share it with Michael Dell. So a, a group, many of uh, whom are with us today, uh, went to Round Rock. We, uh, Samir left his... Uh, his cowboy had at home, but we, uh, we headed off to Round Rock. We met with Michael Dell. We laid out a plan. We're now executing. So uh, I, I just need to do the, the corporate slide. I think people, frankly, don't really realize what, uh, what Dell EMC is all about. Michael Dell has really led us in a journey. We're, a, uh, we're an amalgamation or, or a constellation of very interesting companies. I won't go into detail, but it allows us to pull things rapidly together. And uh, Michael Dell is putting his money where his mouth is. Uh, Dell Capital is investing in many, many, many small startup companies, some of them open, some of them not, that are really driving the boundaries of, of science, you know, not just in healthcare and life sciences, but across all industries. Uh, we have our, the members of most standards bodies. We're driving open source and open science worldwide. And most importantly, uh, getting to what uh, Dell and McGill are doing, we decided to start with a couple of actionable environments where we could move forward and show the efficacy of the use of technology to increase pipelines. So uh, we decided that we were gonna use uh, uh, escalation technologies, GPU and FPGA, not necessarily going against supercomputing, but being able to bring uh, IT to bear to accelerate pipelines. Uh, we also decided that it was necessary to uh, expand the use and the replicability of uh, the accepted uh, heavy workloads, Spark, Hadoop, Kafka, many others, and to be able to not only exploit that technology, but be able to make it sustainable, replicable, and cost-effective. And then lastly, we recognized that the artifacts that are used by all of you have to be retained and kept immutable for decades or centuries, and we needed to have a data lake to be able to make all that happen. Uh, the first venture into that we've completed, thanks to Sean, I'm not sure if he's here. Uh, Sean rapidly used uh, uh, one of our centralized IP capabilities and moved rapidly to accelerate a, wor a workload. We wanted to see how it would work and could it be done. You're all familiar, I think, with this, with this workload. We were able to show a uh, 23x reduction in time to process a really, really, really big data set. Uh, that's the first step. We're going to work at McGill uh, to pull together a unified environment uh, which will allow for us to be able to federate, secure, and contain data. Many of the conversations we've had about IP and open science. How do you meld and mix those pieces into an immutable environment? 
into a micro container so it can be used, it can be accessed, the research or a clinician can build their own customized tool set, it's auditable, and it is preservable over time. So this is a roadmap that we're pursuing next. And it's ambitious, uh, however, we think that we can rapidly execute against it. It's gonna solve, and I think, you know, I'm not smart enough to solve a lot of the higher end problems, but we have the engineering capability to bring to bear an ability to build a repeatable, scalable, federated, democratized framework, which can bring time to value of data. And I think using the 80-20 rule will allow us to accelerate and reduce cost. Uh, again, at the hackathon, uh, one of the big issues was the cost of IT, sustainability, ability to be able to pull together structured, unstructured, semi-structured data and to be able to preserve it. Uh, we think we can conquer some of those things. We're moving rapidly to do it. And I just want you to know Dell EMC is all in with McGill and your network. We're gonna report out, Alan, I assume, in, at this next meeting on what the next level of progress is and hope we can drive uh, this as a federated multinational offering that will will move the needle forward. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So this will be a national effort with us in Canada. And uh, you know, again, the United States is a wonderful place, uh, but uh, Canada uh, is enlightened in the sense that they uh, have a unified archiving environment. They have a unified ability of access to uh, to uh, uh, IT through Compute Canada. And as a person who's been doing medical imaging for almost 40 years, uh, a location and an ability where you can access uh, medical imaging archives and be able to mine that data to be able to enrich your other data sets. There aren't many other places in the world where you can do that. So we're gonna work aggressively to pull those pieces together. I don't wanna overstate what we can do and when uh, but uh, I think this is exactly the right place to do it. And uh, Michael Dell sends his regards, and uh, we look forward to great things together. Thanks for having me. All right, so thanks to all the speakers. If I could ask you to take a seat on the stage, and I'm going to give one microphone to Richard.